guy sine waves so as you can see we've got the scope on and it's creating the sinoid style curvy wave okay and I just want to show you if you apply the distortion Sign what a distorted sign is a square. Okay, turn the distortion off, saturator on, and I've driven it to full. And I've got another square now, even more of a square. I've got the EQ before it to shape the sound, and we can watch the score. And we're creating all sorts of crazy shapes. around with the the EQ okay um, another thing is envelope one will give you a lot more control on the level if you want to stick that on the level and you can create these triangle shapes or create whatever shape you want remember the release time is the tail of it at the minute you've just got the noise on the release um, another way of turning it off instead of the envelope one we'll use the LFO one it on the noise as well, gives you the warm effect, and then you can mess with everything on the LFO one, like you can mess with the shape, make it slower, mess with the rate, that's it, slow it right down with the rate, remember that's on the noise and oscillator one, um, another thing that I always like to mess with is the glide, so the LFO two I've created a glide shape, Master tune, make sure it's tight, it's one arrow, and it's a master tune. And um, I do advise you to try just use one midi note when you're doing your synthesis practice because it'll force you to use the pitch and everything within the synth um, or the midi clip, and it'll force you to get more movement out of the synth, okay? Instead of relying on notes because we're not playing piano, are we? Okay, another thing that is really amazing to do, you can alt and grab, copy this across to another LFO, I'm choosing LFO4 and I'm going to make it, I'm going to use it on the uh, oscillator B, I'm going to make it more spiky though, and then I'm going to put the octaves up, and we're creating a nice fog effect now, listen for it, and you get that really brassy sort of tone. I like to have it quite sharp, so it's not a slow, but it's quite a jing jing. Um, quite a lot of attack on it like that. You can also then add that to the filter and the drive of the filter. Make sure you click it on B, noise and sub all the things. And then you've got a lot more control over your sound. I'm putting the EQ before the distortion, and I'm driving the upper shelf sort of them higher tones. Fog effect there. Now, another thing you can do instead of that FM from B, leave the level down on oscillator B, and then oscillator 1, we're going to FM from B, and you can get a lot of eye out of that synth like that, as you can hear. That's with the level and the FM. You can do this to all your basses, guys. You can mess with these techniques within any bass, give it a go. I always like to FM them, glide them. If you're doing an 808 or if you're doing a roof space, the same. You can FM it, you can glide it, you can. You can uh, if you're using um, sine waves, you can get the fog sound pretty nice. If you're using distortioned sine waves. Now we're going to drag it with the magic button there, top left. Um, I've got some different variations dragged to audio now. I'm looking for faster sort of. Thing. I do apologise if the voice is out the left side because I'll get it started soon guys. I just need a new wire. Um, so, we've got this loop in. All these loops are in the sample pack. All these drum sounds are in the sample pack. Links down below. Patreon down below. This all is all the are available. The sounds of the sample pack are completely free. So free pit, uh, Patreon stuff, but there's some more free. And I've got a mixture now, it's not 
the best beat in the world, but as you can see, there's some vibes going on. Just the same wave, one midi note. So I hope that's helped, guys. Links down below. Give it a like if it's helped you.